Hey guys, this video I'm going to do a nail set that I have for my beautiful client. These are her birthday nails. She did give me an, an idea board with kind of similar colors that she would like and just some cool little designs that she would like. So I ended up creating this set. So what you will see is I am going to prep these nails and what I do is I just gently buff the top and I just file the edge to make sure it's nice and sharp since I am using gel it does tend to get um, thick with time so you want to make sure that it's not too thick of a nail and the shape is still kept perfectly and then I show you the base coat I use and then I'm showing you these two colors these are the two gel polishes that I will be using so I will have my all my nails prepped already so you won't see that step again just to make it a quicker video and then I am putting base on I always put base on just to make them last a lot longer and give it a little bit of strength as well I do like my press-ons to be more, a little bit more on the medium to thicker side so that they're not flimsy and they last a lot longer and here you'll see me do one coat of the solitary color it's a really pretty color but like I said I do mix a lot of the gel colors here because she wanted specific color palette and I wanted to give that for her so I do one coat of the color and then I do two coats of the cat eye you'll see one very thin coat just as the base and then on the second coat is when I use the cat eye and do the design for her After I apply the matte, this is how they turned out. It's a matte cat eye. She did want them greens to be a little bit more on the mute side, so I wanted to do that. Now I'm using these two gel polish, I mean the honeydew color, and then the base of course as well. And I'm using the lighter green just as the base to a nail design that you'll see me do. And I used the previous two colors, but I will use them as gloss as well as some foil to the edge of it so that way it creates a really nice nail art design. And then for this one, I did really like the foil to be glossy, so I did glossy nails.
after I completed the design, I do go in with some alcohol and just wipe off any tacky layer because now I will be using the foil gel to make sure that it doesn't grab onto the foil and other sections I don't want it to grab onto. And it's a great way to clean anything that's on there as well. And I use a very thin line for the edges and that is how I created this part of the design. Moving on to the next design, I made this specific color because I did not have a green polish in that color. Um, so I used these two and I mixed them together as well as I did also use black gel polish, but I don't know what happened to that clip. I don't see it here. I must have thought I pressed record and I didn't. So again, I do put the base coat on it, cure that. Every time I use gel polish, I cure it under the lamp. I just don't show it on here. And like I said, I used both of those colors mixed together in my palette as well as about two to three drops of black until I got the color that I wanted. And I apply two coats of this color and then this is the nail that I'm going to apply the crystals to and they're going to be gold crystals to kind of pull in the whole design. Okay, after this I will cleanse the nails and I will be using the crystals that you see. I do have links below for them as well as this gummy jelly and I'll have the link for that as well. And I just buffed the place where I'm going to apply the crystals. I feel like this helps he seal the crystals a lot better for me personally. And I do use the gummy jelly very thinly but I put it exactly where I need it depending on where the crystals would go. And then after this you'll see me do a base coat on there as well. And then I apply the crystals. After I apply the crystals, I will go in there and seal the crystals from the both the front side and the back side of it. Just to make sure that they last as long as possible because my press-ons are reusable and I want them to be used as much as possible. Get the, as much use you can out of them. So I want these crystals to not go anywhere. This is just the way that works for me and what has worked for me. Um, after I do this, I do use a top coat and I go in there and make sure I put that top coat in between the crystals. You don't want to sink the crystals, so I keep going back in there to clean them off with my fingers to make sure nothing gets on top of the crystals or around the crystals. It's literally just the bottom being fully sealed and hopefully my video makes sense here and this technique has worked for me and has kept the crystals on forever on my press-ons, my nails that I would do on my clients, so hopefully... This works for you guys, but it does definitely work for me. And I just wanted to explain the steps.
Moving on to my final design for this press on nails and I always do I try to keep it at four designs maximum just because these are not pre-measured they are really I'm basing it off of what is the most common use for fingers so that way you have a design for every single finger of your nails um, so I'm doing a cat eye a very bright gold cat eye and I'm doing one color of it. I already did the base coat. I'm doing one solid color and curing that. Then on the second layer is when I'm going to do that cat eye. And then I will be top coating it. I'm keeping this glossy because I really like the glossy look. I feel like it gives it a nice pop as well that it goes really well with the whole set. They, it goes really well, but at the same time, it's a unique kind of set. So I really like that. And to be honest, I was kind of trying to figure out how to bring the greens and a little bit of the dark blues and the gold all together to go very well um my husband helped me a lot he's the one that gave me the idea on what to put together what goes together he has a really good eye for art so that really helped to put some ideas through with him and figure this out because my customer really 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 loved the nail sets she kept sending me videos and pictures of how much she really loved them and kept looking at them and her birthday's not until a month from now so she's gonna stare at them for a while but she did really enjoy it and that's the whole point of why i do these press-ons to make people's day and to be able to put them on and take them off whenever you want And this will be the end of my video. I really hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. See you guys on my next video.